Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy to have you here for a new video. We're going to be going through all of my recent beauty empties. So all of the empty products that I finished up in the last couple of months. I think the last video that was in empties went up in March and it's now July. So we're into summer, it's hot out and let's get going and I'm gonna take you through everything that I finished up lately. So starting off in the cleansers category, we've got two items. First up is the Pharmacy Green Clean. I've talked about this a bunch, but this is my favorite makeup remover. It's just an oil-based cleanser, it's green, um, and I just use the little uh, scooper that it comes with to just scoop out some, rub it in between my hands, put it on dry skin, and it takes off your makeup really easily. Next up is a product from Coco Kind. This is something that I absolutely love. This is the AHA Jelly Cleanser, and this is made with 2% hibiscus flower AHAs. And this is really great if you have acne prone skin, but you don't want to dry your skin out. Um, I was using this like half the times I would wash my face um, during the week. So maybe like two to three times a week, depending. And I really liked this. Um, I don't know if I would purchase it again, just because sometimes when I would use it in the shower, it would like get into my mouth and the taste was so bad. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I would repurchase this, but I do really like it. And also it's just so cute. So next category we're going to talk about is skincare. So kind of similar to cleansers, but just like more generic skincare products. Um, first up is one I've talked about a ton. This is the Aromatica Super Barrier Hyaluronic Acid Toner. Like I said, I've talked about this a bunch, used it up a bunch, but this is the second step after I wash my face. Um, and I absolutely love it. The first step is always the Tower 28 SOS Facial Rescue Spray. I have gone through so many bottles of this, it's insane. But I actually bought the larger um, size. I think it's six, I don't have it in front of me, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, maybe 16 fluid ounces. So it's four of these and I'm blanking on the price of it right now. I'll pop it onto the screen, but that's a much more cost-effective way, especially if you're a big fan of this like I am, and also just so you're not using up as many, you know, of these bottles. I know that they switched. Um, this is what the old packaging looked like. Looked like they switched from this to this, um, and this one is made with 100% post-consumer recycled resin, which is awesome. This one, I don't believe, was made with recycled plastic. So we love to see that. So to further my impact even more, I bought the large one and I have a one of these and a little one um, that I have just been refilling. So you probably won't see this maybe in my next video, but maybe the one after because it'll be like the big one being empty because I won't be finishing up any more of like these bottles to share. So next up, we've got a couple of serums. First one is the Kira Moon Flower Melon Super Hydra Serum. And this is just kind of like an all around good serum. It has hyaluronic acid, um, also glycolic acid. So it's good for hydration and also keeping your skin looking clear. Um, I really, really like this. I have a new one. I just haven't been using it as much lately, but this is a really great product and I love this brand. Next up from Biosans, we've got the Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. I really like this and I used to use Biosans, I feel like a lot more regularly in the past, but not so much lately. And I really feel like I need to get back into using it. I have a couple others of these like little ones from different like Sephora point perk things. So I'll be using up those as well, but I really, really like this. Um, it just helps and you definitely notice a difference with your skin in the morning, at least I feel like I did. Um, when using that. Next, we've got two vitamin C serums. This one is another little, you know, mini product. Um, this is from Youth to the People, another brand I have used more frequently in the past and do still really enjoy, but I just haven't really tried like a lot of their newer things, except this. This is their 15% vitamin C and clean caffeine energy serum. I liked this for the morning, but I found that it left my skin like a little bit sticky. So I was using this also at night and I do like it. Um, I don't know if I would purchase it again, but on a similar note, I do kind of want to get back into using vitamin C 
again for my skin I used to use it I feel like a lot more frequently a couple of years ago and I kind of fell out of it to be honest but I was using this hyper skin um I think that's the name of the brand hyper skin hyper clear brightening clearing vitamin c serum um this is what it looks like it has 15 percent vitamin c just like the youth to the people one and it also has vitamin e to smooth and brighten skin kojic acid and fruit enzymes and natural botanicals um i liked this i used it for you know like kind of consistently for a little bit and then i honestly kind of fell out of it and vitamin c can be kind of tricky and even though this is in like a fully protected container i feel like it got kind of bad quickly so i don't know if i would purchase this again unless i was like gonna be super serious about being on my like vitamin c game but maybe i will we'll see um but i did like this uh when i first got started with it last two in this category are some lip items we've got this kopari lip glossy this used to be my go-to lip balm. I had it in my purse and I used it until it was done. I'm pretty sure they've like repackaged this at this point so it doesn't even look like this anymore, but I did really like this. I am using now the Ilia uh, Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. I had it just sitting over here. But same goes with this Kosas Sport Baseline um, Hyaluronic Lip Balm. I used to use this more consistently stopped kind of using it it got kind of dry and i just basically like finished up what i could um but we're done with it now so also in the skincare category we've got two masks first we've got the lush don't look at me fresh face mask um this one smelled not so good and it also was kind of rough um because it was made with ground rice i believe i shared in a vlog when we went and picked this up but i got it because i had five of these um empty containers from collecting them from you know my other empties videos so i had them so i got this mask for free so make sure if you are a lush shopper and you use any of their items that come in these uh just look out for the little note on it that says return five clean containers with this icon for a free fresh face mask and you'll get one of these for free which is awesome um, this one is from the brand Milk and Honey, which is actually also, I believe, a spa in Los Angeles. I'm not sure if it's in other places as well, but this I got an, at an event that I went to kind of recently, and it was just a little charcoal mask. I got like two uses out of it. Um, it definitely left my skin a lot drier than I would have liked for a mask, but you know, I just used it up. And I do like when they come in like this kind of a plastic and glass container because I'll probably end up saving this so I can use it like for traveling. We are moving through things very quickly today because I feel like I actually did not have as many empties as I normally do, but the bag looked kind of full, which is why I was like, you know, it's time to do this. We're gonna go into some hair products. So first up, I've got the Jupiter Balancing, Con uh, almost like conditioner, balancing shampoo. Um, you can see the label wore off in the shower with use, but I really like this. This is a dandruff shampoo. It has 1% zinc, pyrethione, uh, coconut oil, and algae extract. Um, I really like this. This is definitely one of my favorite dandruff conditioners. Why do I keep saying conditioner? Dandruff shampoos that I've ever used. Um, I feel like maybe... I might grow out of using it in a little bit, depending, because that is kind of like what's happened with me over, you know, my life of using dandruff shampoos that I'll use something for like a couple of months to a year and then I'll switch to something else just so my hair doesn't get used to it. But I haven't had any issues with like flaking or greasiness or anything. So I do really, really like this. Um, they are a direct to consumer brand, so you can only get them online. And my bottle that I currently have in the shower is almost empty and I went to go reorder it and it said that it was on back order. So I'm a little worried, um, but it, then I got a shipping notification because it said that it wasn't supposed to ship for like another month. It said it was shipping at the end of July and it's currently the beginning of July. So not sure when that's coming, but hopefully soon. So I'm not out of it. Um, Next up, we have an actual conditioner. Now that I've called the shampoo a conditioner multiple times, we've got this one from Verb. This is the Ghost Conditioner. Um, I really liked the scent of this. I don't think I've used anything from Verb in a really long time, 
but I liked this one. I would repurchase and I'm pretty sure this was only like $16 for this size for 12 fluid ounces, which I feel like for a, you know, more prestige brand that sold at Sephora, that's actually a pretty reasonable price. And especially because, you know, you're just rinsing the conditioner out of your hair. It maybe doesn't need to be something that's super expensive. Next up, we've got this one from Amika. This is a multitask repair treatment. It's called The Cure. This was a very liquidy um, product. I thought it was going to be like more of a, when I think hair repair treatment, I was thinking like deep conditioner. So I thought it was gonna be a thicker product, but it was very thin. So I kind of like mixed it into my conditioner. Um, I honestly don't think this was maybe anything too special. I have noticed when I use certain masks that my hair will feel and like look um, a little bit nicer, shinier, but I don't really feel like this one maybe did anything for me. But also at the same time, it's kind of hard when I'm talking about products like of this size because you really can't tell, you know, when you're using something this small for only a couple of uses, if it's actually like super impactful. And we are already in our final category. We've got a couple of body products. First up, one that I feel like is in almost every empties video is the Necessary Eucalyptus Body Wash. This smells amazing. It feels really great on my skin. I've talked about this before, but I do have like a pretty sensitive skin. So I try to stay away from anything that's like super fragranced, um, but I started using this maybe like two years ago now, and it does not give me any irritation or issues, so I really love and appreciate this product for that. On a similar note, when I'm out of the shower, I don't really love using body lotions that have a really strong scent or anything because it can irritate my skin and just like leave little bumps, specifically on my arms. That was like kind of what I noticed um, when I was in like high school which was now like over 10 years ago, but I do really like this body lotion from Coco Kind. It has a really light scent. This is a Saki body lotion. It says fragrance free, but it has a light scent. I feel like just from whatever ingredients are in here, but this smells really good. Um, and it feels really light, absorbs really nicely into the skin. For while I'm in the shower, another product that I like to have is the Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream Shave in Honey Mango. This is inexpensive, and I think this is my second one that I finished up. I honestly just got that because it was cheap, and I was at Trader Joe's, and I needed shaving cream, so here we are. Um, and I have another one in my shower right now, and I do like it. I like the scent of it. It doesn't leave my skin um, feeling irritated. I don't have like issues with like nicking myself or anything with a razor, so appreciate that. Next up, we've got this Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. This is what I always use to remove my nail polish. I get this at Whole Foods. Um, I think it's like $10. It is acetone free, but I don't have any issues um, with taking off polish with it. Like it comes off pretty easily. It's funny because I was just talking to my mom and she was like, I have this acetone free nail polish remover and it's like not working. I was like, you should get this one um, because it's also acetone free, but I don't have any issues for whatever reason with taking off my polish with it. And it's gentler on the nails, which I do really appreciate. And the last item of this video, we've got this perfume from The Seven Virtues. This is the Vanilla Woods scent. I really like this. Um, I've considered buying the like actual full size of this, but I like the rollerball to travel. So I do have this again um, in my bedroom right now. And I really like it. I like the scent. It's like clean and warm. Um, maybe I'll get a second perfume from them also in a rollerball just to like have two. Um, I do like that this is like a bigger size and I do really like the packaging and everything of this, but I really like this. So I've been using it now for about a year because I think I purchased it like last summer for the first time. So it took me almost a year to finish this up, like probably 11 months of using it almost every day. So would definitely recommend because a little bit goes a long way. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As with all of my other empties videos, don't forget that you can head to my blog, which is linked down below. I'll have a post um, up with all of these products linked. So if you're interested in getting more information on anything or want to check something out, you can go ahead there for that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notifications, all the things so you don't miss out on another upload from me. And I'll see you in my next video again really soon. Bye.